the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Fall in line with that. Come on, come on. Come then on. you can make mention of that. Yes, sir. But to be perfectly honest, you should have all with the Democrats, Come with on. the Republicans, and the Independents. Yes, sir. You should have all with all of them mm -hmm. because there's in no way or form or fashion do they lined up with the kingdom of God. No. So there's things that could be done to make life easier. Yes, sir for the body of Christ. And you should always, you know, choose those things. Yes, sir. Or anything. But when you get to affecting somebody's lives, mm. when God does not even do that, Come on. when God give you free will, mm -hmm. then who are you to dictate to somebody else how they are to live their lives and to choose what you want them to choose? Yeah, yeah. Because you to have what you want them to have. You, right. You, you're you're, with, you're, yeah. you're really, yeah. really out of line yeah. when it comes to that. Well, the thing about it is that some people, uh, from a selfish perspective, uh, in a modern, 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 modern complex, um, when I'm talking about get rid of Social Security, get rid of Medicare. Yeah. Uh, and look, look, here's a big one. Paying no student debts off. Uh, but but you had no problem with paying PPP off. You know? But, no, but you have no time, no, no, no problem with sending billions mm, mm, to other countries. Mm, but you want to take away the care that yeah. the elderly have to exist. And say you can't afford it. Yeah. Can't afford it. And that's the elderly need most of the people and some of the people most of the voter people who voted are are and this is what they worried about. Well what does immigrants have? I, I, I don't want the I don't want the, the under I don't want the other people. But yet you have you have this saying that these folks are for, for the people and by the people, mm. which is the past. Yeah. The yeah. Very, very the very, very past. Yes, sir. Is the mindful? That's what I'm saying. Is it? Is those are mindful? This mind being mindful of man opposed to God. Remember, like you said, the Book of Acts. You love the fact is that they redistribute to every man's need. Yeah. Right. So now we're talking, and we talk about this modern day time. People talk about is those who want to sit there. They first of all, they they change the structure of the of the uh, what Social Security, right? Yeah. Where it was paying for itself, but you took the mechanism out of it. Yeah. Well, one of the mechanisms you took out of it said, well, look, we're going to give you, this is how they sold it to you. I'm going to give it to you, Brother Hapson. Yeah. So I'm going to cut some 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 taxes or whatever we're going to give take from you to feed into your Social Security. I'm going to take the stuff that you used to pay to feed into Social Security. I'm going to go give it to you. Yeah. All right. So now what happened? Now it's not being fed any money so now it's going broke because you took components out to make it seem like they reappropriated yes the they money. did yes they did and, yes they and, did and then they're going to complain and, mm -hmm. and that's what bothers me when they keep trying to say it doesn't work and it will fail if we keep doing things away well if you'd have just left it alone it would be big for a second. It would be just fine. Yeah. But because of greed. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. And so they could fix it. Yeah. They just don't. They want. They want. They want to make it worse. And then, then they give the people who don't need the cuts, the cuts. Yeah. As if they magically gonna trickle down. Maybe yeah, that, there. That is. That was that was um, um, a revelation of Satan. Mm -hmm. Trickle down 
is a revelation. Yeah, right. Because it doesn't trickle down. Because it, it's it's God does not trickle down. Mm -hmm. God is a God of an abundance. Yes, sir. Woo! There you go. He's a multiplier, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus, it's not add is not in his his DNA. It's multiply, multiplication. Yeah. So those are type of things that people have become so mindful. They forget about the mindful things of God, where it said, "Hey, we want to feed the poor." Oh, you know about the immigrant thing? We do want to help them. Maybe we need to figure out a better way to do it, but we do want to help them, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's somebody one time said, it's just selfishness, which goes into the talk about the denying yourself in these scriptures, right? So, so you had here the mindful things of me. I'll do it to people make sure be mindful of the things of God. And the reason you can be mindful of the things of God is what? By reading the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. And by you by us discussing the word of God. So what do you got here? 34. It says, when he had called the people to himself with his disciples also, mm -hmm. he said to them, whoever desires to come after me, mm. let him deny himself. Move away from self. Take up his cross. Come on now. So uh -huh. you, you can do what Peter tried to do, mm -hmm. but there is a way of doing it. Yes, sir. It has to be spiritual done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it has to be a, according to to His will and His word. Yes, sir. You have to do this because obviously Peter stayed out and denied him three times. He did. He did. You know, even though he said, you know, I'll I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> he, he 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 cursed people out. Yeah. He cursed you out. Move, he get proud. If they had an MF, he would have said it. You know, but he said those words, it was cursed. Because he, he was mindful of the thing. Then he was disappointed because he didn't do. Because, you know, it would have tripped over it, like a rewritten script. Peter went up there with Jesus in front of the Sanhedrin and said, I'm with him too. You, what you, I, I'm with him too. I am with him. And you will not slap him. If you do, slap me too. That's probably the better word. Slap me too. Take me to the cross too. I'm going to the cross too. Let me get up on that platform. It should have been four crosses. Okay? Come on, bro. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Is that you, if you would say you go with the person. Because in the end, people, Peter said that if he was going to, at least tradition said it. I don't know if it ever happened. They said, he said he'd be crucified upside down. Yeah. Yeah, that's tradition. Yeah, tradition that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it said, that he, he was crucified upside down. Mm. You know, because he felt that he, he wasn't... He wasn't worthy. Wasn't worthy uh -uh. to die in the same manner. And, and, and even whether he did or he didn't, mm -hmm. you know... The impression was clear, yeah. You know, uh, it, it is clear the scripture is clear what of what happened. Yeah. But yeah. what we need to understand mm -hmm. is when you go down to the third says for who, whoever desires to save his life. Mm -hmm. his life. Yes, sir. Uh, that's self ability. You, yes, you're, sir. You're trying to save your life by your by by works. Mm -hmm. Let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. You can't do works to save your life. No. And, and you're not boasting. That's what happened, right? You're boasting about yeah. it, too. Because you're saying, I I saving my, my life. Yeah. Just and, like you're and saying. Yeshua is saying, no, you're losing your, your life. life. Right. Lose your but identity. Come on. If you lose your life for my sake. Come on now. Gospel. Come on now. <laughs> we'll save it. Oh, so we gotta get we in other go words. Go ahead. If, if you confess, come on now. <laughs> that Yeshua mm. has died for your sins. Come on now. Was <laughs> risen. Yes, sir. He is your Lord. Come on. <laughs> Then you save your life. That's how you lose your life. Yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. That's how you. That's how you lose. That is dying. 
Come on. With Christ. Come on now. With Christ. In dying with Christ, you are raised. Yes, sir. <laughs> in glory as he is raised. Yes, sir. And the so, outcome. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. So what profit a man to gain the world? The yes, sir. Whole. Yes, sir. What, what this world is temporal. <laughs> it is temporal. Yeah. Is, is fleeting away. This world is destruction. It's chaos. It's, mm -hmm. it's evil. Mm -hmm. And to lose your very self. Yes, sir. Which is your soul. Mm. What, yeah. what, what you're trying to to boast in, and to live in, and to, to, to please. Mm. You're going to lose that. Yes, because sir. Because you can't do that for eternity. No. No. That's what I'm saying. As a temp, that's why he look at it. the spirit. That's why he was trying to teach them to think spiritually, right? Yeah. When we were talking about the bread, the eleven, the Pharisee. You, you're yeah. thinking cardinal. You're mindful. My fact, that's another. That's another reason to say you're mindful of the things. Don't be mindful of men things. Yeah. Mindful of God things. That's why you get the Lord's prayer, right? Give me this day my daily bread, or Thy will be done. Where in earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Yes, sir. I mean, also, it, is, it is amazing how society has truly fallen to now, to the yes, now. Sir. Yeah, I was in a vision because, see, there's a selfish thing going on, right? There's a group of people who live 300 or 400 years in, in an area with no accountability toward the thing they did against their fellow man. Yeah. There, there's, there's a group of people who was told that that you have a superiority issue. And I, I ain't talking about your bad, I'm telling you about the truth. The fact is, this scripture we read lines up what we're talking about is where well, you have to deny yourself. Now, and then it goes further and say, what would exchange, what exchange would you give for your soul? Because that's the that's what our platform is about is the eternal life in Christ. But you have to ask yourself, do you deny yourself? And you know when you're talking about that fourth cross, brother, that's what he's talking about. Pick up your cross. That's, that's us. That's, that's each it. And every person that accepts Yeshua as their Lord and Savior. Yeah, they pick up that cross and they get suicide. They, not to, they get crucified. Yep. Because that's what, when God turned his back on Christ, is because of our sin, our transgressions. Yep. We were on that cross, but we were not worthy. Our death had no meaning, had no worth to it. He has had, because then he took my sin. He took your sin on that cross. You know what I mean? I mean, this, the, the power to absorb. Mm. The sins of the world. Of the world. And we talk about what's basically the things that have happened. Now, I miss, you know, we're looking back from the history. He already could see a, four, a front anyway, right? But our history, we got some bad stuff. People have done worse than what Adam did. Oh, worse than what yes. Moses did. Moses sat there and hit that rock. <laughs> he told him to speak to the rock. You know? Uh, yeah. we, we have to deny yourself. Well, I, I will say this, and, and I, I'm not sure mm -hmm. if we can e equate the sin of Adam and Eve with anything that has gone on mm -hmm. since then. Right. It's not, it says similar, I think it calls a similar to of it. And yeah, it's, it's, it is a it is a symptom of yeah it is too yeah it is a symptom of of the the the, the sin was the separation mm -hmm. of man from God right and that we know the sin yeah and so the redemption is the reconnection of that exactly and it, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everything that is done mm -hmm. outside of living for Christ is is a part of that initial sin. 
It is. It is. And um, but you know, I I hear people, and and even I would say, um, how could they? Mm. How could they? But when you look at it, it's like, how could we? Exactly. And how you could know, we how could <laughs> we do what we do each day? Because nobody lives a sinless life. No, no. And 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 you have said something. I think it was in this scripture about the uh, dispensation. We talk about dispensation. Yeah. When we're talking about the the generation of the. Earlier, it was talking about generation. I think it did, right? Because the bottom line is looking at 38. This is us. Yeah. The fact is that for whosoever is ashamed of me and my words, where? See, it's a question of where yeah. you're ashamed of his words in him. Where? In this adulterous sinful generation and that this, is talking about this generation exactly and every generation until he cracks the sky yes sir and you know one thing too just for, for people perspective when he said adulterous generation you know what he's talking about he's not talking about adultery for no. man and woman he's talking about you us anything dealing with things exalting it above the relationship you have with God. Anything that, that is not uplifting the kingdom of God mm -hmm. is a part of this adulterous generation. Sinful generation. Adultery is choosing something mm -hmm. over something that you are tied to, that you have a covenant with. Yes, sir. Breaking a covenant. You, you committed adultery. Uh-huh. Yeah. And that's what you're talking about. We're talking about that bell worship and all that stuff. But now we're talking about other type of things. When you tie those things above God. When you sit there and say that these things are more important to you than God. That's what he's trying to make sure we understand. Don't be ashamed of his words, wherever you are. Don't be ashamed of, of this of, of what people think. Because the world gonna hate you. <laughs> It's won't it? It, it, oh, yeah. it, it just it, not going to, it does. <laughs> it does. It just does. Yeah, it does. It, and, and that's that's the challenge to it. But anyway, we're gonna cover the whole chapter. I think that's what we're gonna do. Whatever chapter I'm at, next time we talk, you see, like I said, you get so I guess the summer days from now would be what? Uh we got uh Monday. The ninth, Tuesday, the tenth, the eleventh, twenty, the twenty-seventh. I mean, the the twenty-ninth. And what chapter I'm saying we'll be talking about? Uh, it'll be should be fifteen or sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, just keep it as keep it the same. With, okay. With the daily reading, we're gonna just cover that chapter. That discovered that, that that day it should be the 15th or the 16th of uh, Mark, right? But we can milk it. That's what I'm saying. This opportunity, because I, I as I've been reading them, the little 10 minutes uh, that I'm doing on TikTok, uh -huh. this, this is where you really want to be to sit there. So let's milk this. Stuff. <laughs> let's yeah, yeah. I know. I know it's got to be tough for you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you just keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 were like, oh, what did you want to come? So I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I do even, to... even when I read, uh -huh. it's hard for me to just read. Yeah, I know. I saw it. It's so... hard for me to just, to just, I'm talking about it on my own, to just read through the, man. Yep. I'm already in, in other scriptures. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like that is just taken away, you know, to not, not that it's a bad thing because no. all I'm doing is proving the word with the word. Exactly. And you it's showing them to connect how they're connected. Yeah. That, and, and, and glory to God that that is what happens. Yes, sir. Because that really shows how the word has been hidden mm -hmm. in my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, and how the Holy Spirit is bringing all truth. Yes, sir. To bear. Uh, but like like you said, it is hard to just... Just read <laughs> to, right? to go from... <laughs> 
from act, one one <laughs> chapter to the next and just stay on task. Exactly. You need to keep your brain there. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Your yes, brain sir. tied into that is almost impossible. <laughs> it, it really is because <laughs> your mind will, will wander uh -huh. to those things that pertain to that. Exactly. And I was, that's what I was saying is I was like, was it, is it easy for me to go ahead and, you know how you speak the point of a message or, or a title or something, then you, you know, you tie in different scriptures where, uh -huh. where if I'm saying, okay, if I'm reading a chapter a day, encouraging other people to read the chapter a day with me, why does it stay on point and just say, okay, now this is an opportunity where we can speak on it. We can, yeah. we can expound yeah. on it, right? We can, we can go into what we read since you've read it. Come on, bro. Bring it. We can bring it to bear, Woo. Uh, and we can we can use it. We can give you information to use it in your mm. daily life. Yes, and sir. how it pertains to your daily life. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's what I like about it. So I think uh, we're trying to stay on point with that. And like I said, we we're pertaining. We we are tying in what's going on in life. Uh, but that's another encouraging other people. That's not a bad session. Where people can sit and say Bible reading slash discussion yeah. is, is, is where the person is getting a chance to read the Bible for themselves. Especially even other people, because that goes with Nehemiah, right? That's what Nehemiah 8 says. They yeah. gave sense and understanding of the scripture. And I think most people get, I think the reason why you get too many people read the scripture, because then they're not accountable. You know? And this is giving you opportunity to get be accountable. And it's not to hold people, we're not holding you in bondage. We're just trying to say is that if you are selfish, <laughs> if you are, well, look, when we get a scripture about unforgiving, you know, you read one of the scriptures, if you are an unforgiving person, look at this scripture. What does the scripture say? And then you confront with bad doctrine, you can sit there and say, hey, if I read these scriptures, stay on point with the scriptures, then I won't introduce. Un, I mean, bad loving bread yeah. or doctrine, and and, and and it will it, it will convict you. Mm -hmm. You That's know, what it, it, it will it will bring across uh, uh, about change. You know, and that is the, the thing is not to have you try and make change by your ability. Mm -hmm. That you allow the spirit to use the word that has been placed within you. Yes, sir. To bring about change because. The, if the Holy Spirit doesn't have anything to operate that's within you, then you're just, you're, you're just hearing voices, you know, that, that don't mean nothing to you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that was what my buddy was talking about. Because he, uh, he really, boy, he got some, uh, it's almost hateful. Uh, but if you want to keep talking, I mean, we talk about the scripture, because I keep saying what's written. And matter of fact, that's another thing too. The more we study the Word of God, read the Word of God, when you are confronted, use the Word of God. Yeah. And you can simply say, "Look, I am not dictating." Because many times you use the word "dictating." Like, I ain't dictating yeah. you nothing, brother. You have a choice. God gave you the choice. Therefore, I'm gonna give you the choice too. I'm just telling you, for me, this is what I'm standing on. This is my foundation. And look, you hate this. Not you hating it, but you like this. In fact, is saying, what are you standing on? Or what do you believe? Yeah. And, and, and why and how do you believe what you believe? Right. I believe because God said, mm -hmm. uh, his word says, I believe. Now, uh, I had a discussion just yesterday. Go ahead. Go ahead. And uh, it was about a, a topic and and it was, do you do you think you should confess uh, this particular sin? And I said that I confess what God says I am. Mm -hmm. I confess who God says I am. Yeah. I confess what God says I have. Mm -hmm. And 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 those are the confessions that I make. Right. And who do I make the confessions to? Yeah. Come on, come and on! So I, I don't need to make confess you. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, confess things that are contrary to that. Yeah, 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a sinner because uh -huh. I have been saved by grace. Right. So I'm not going to confess that I'm a sinner. Come on. You know, the word says, you know, uh, I've, I've heard I'm, I'm a sinner saved by grace. No, mm -hmm. I am saved. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saved. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a sinner. Let me I, give I you, hey, look, I can give you my testimony to the degree. Yeah. But some of the testimonies, I don't need to tell you all my business, but I can give you a testimony. Yeah. Uh, but with, with my with my business mm -hmm. is a testimony that will deliver you. Come on now. Then you go get my business because <laughs> my business has been uh uh redeemed of God. And mm -hmm. if he does it for me. Do and my testimony Woo. is going to show you that he can do it for you. It's, it will enable you. I mean, like 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 the scripture we just read. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Come on. And my life <laughs> is the gospel. Exactly. Where God has delivered me. That is the gospel. Right. When I give my testimony of the victory that God has done in and through me. Yes, sir. That is the gospel. Come on. And you know the thing is that people, when they, they bring up the history, church history and all that stuff, Pope Dennis and Fifth and all that, you can say, a tree is known by its fruit. It is not written. Everything you did from lynching and everything else, that was not in the gospel. It was not written. I'm not gonna, you, you're not gonna hold me accountable or God accountable. For the actions of men. Yeah. What we're trying to tell you is that Christ gave us the Word of God, the you know, New Testament, to teach us on how we should be and where we should go. When you see people doing the opposite of that, you need to understand that was not God. Yeah. Even though someone would say they were Christians. Yeah. Even if that person does do things of God. He's still wrapped in flesh mm -hmm. that is subject to do sinful things. Yes, sir. And so you don't look upon that man. You look upon the spirit mm. that mm. dwells within that man. Come on, brother. Come on. You and when it aligns up with the word of God, then mm -hmm. glory to God. Come on, being a secret. Because the word God, of God is being glorified. Now, when yeah. it doesn't, then you got to understand that he is still a man. He is not perfected. He has not re received the purchase possession. Yes, sir. That makes him complete. Yeah, I think that one scripture I'm thinking when you're talking come to mind about sitting in heavenly places. Right. Yeah. Is the fact is that just being mindful. Yes. The spirit. Yes. Woo. Bro, it's deep. So I uh, walk in the spirit, <laughs> not fulfill the lust of the flesh. flesh. There you go. Uh, with the Roman eight, to be carnally minded is death, but the spirit of mind is light, light. and peace. Yes. Amen? Amen. All right, bro. I want to go ahead and let you have a good week. Uh, pray for you in a good week. You know, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm complaining. I receive it. To receive it. it and, and, about, and likewise to you as well. Amen. Amen. Feed that spirit man daily. Keep up with those uh those uh going through the scriptures again. Because the yeah. question is how we're gonna to get to the uh Old Testament. But we'll see how it works. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Ah, all right, brother. God bless you. Mm -hmm. And uh check you later. <laughs> bye bye. Let's see here. All right, God bless you all. God bless you. Matter of fact, I may break these down for you just to break them down, but the bottom line is that we're going to just go for a chapter. I'm doing a chapter today. Right now, we're going to go to Mark, but we're going to, with the, the Sunday is where we'll milk wherever we are as the coverage for the session. Amen. All right, God bless you. I appreciate you listening, and I'll uh, see you when I see you. All right, bye bye. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.